Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and as expected, Apple has released iOS 17.1.2 to the public. This of course, without going through any beta stages, because this is a small update and you can see it right here. It's only 300 megabytes that of course will be different on different devices and will be different based on which software you have currently installed on your device. Even though it's small and it doesn't bring any new features, it's still an important update because you will need this to fix a few security flaws that Apple has talked about until we get the new iOS 17.2, which should be around two weeks from now. But again, this is a very important update, so I suggest you update your device immediately if you're on iOS 17.1 or 17.1.1. And after you have updated your device, here are a few things that I suggest you guys should do immediately on your iPhone. Now, first of all, what Apple has talked about about this update are these two problems, security problems right here that they have fixed. They didn't mention any other fixes like the Wi-Fi issue or the shutdown issue that a lot of iOS users have been experiencing. But this has happened even before Apple hasn't talked about any different issues, hasn't, hasn't given a statement about them, but in the meanwhile, it was fixed with the software update. Now, these have actually been fixed with the betas of iOS 17.2, so I would expect this update to be included on iOS 17.1.2 as well. But here's what I need you to do. First of all, if you had the shutdown issue on your device on iOS 17, if you don't know about it, the shutdown issue is an issue that a lot of iOS users have been experiencing with the device would completely turn off during night time. So right here, when you go to your battery and you see the battery usage right here, you would see like a cutoff right here. So like four or five hours, it would be just turned off completely. So if you had that issue and you now you have updated to iOS 17.1.2, what I need you to do after the first night and the second and the third night that you have updated to iOS 17.1.2, make sure in the morning you go to your device's settings and you go to battery and check the battery usage right here. Just see if there's a cutoff, which means that of course this device has been turned off during the night. Probably it won't be. Hopefully Apple has added that update to iOS 17.1.2 and you won't have that issue anymore on your device. Another really annoying bug on iOS 17 is the Wi-Fi bug where a lot of people are experiencing like the Wi-Fi connections just dropping all the time. That's really annoying if you have that issue on your device. Thankfully, Apple has already fixed that with the betas of iOS 17.2. And I really do expect that Apple has included that fix on iOS 17.1.2 as well. So you just won't have to wait for another two or three weeks to get iOS 17.2 and get that fix. Now, if you have that issue and you update to iOS 17.1.2 and you still are facing the same problem, still having like the Wi-Fi dropping all the time, what I suggest you do that can hopefully fix this is go to your general settings and then scroll all the way down here to transfer or reset iPhone. Tap here and tap on reset and here's where you can reset your network settings. Now this will delete all the network settings that you have saved on your device. All the Wi-Fi passwords that you have saved on your device will completely be erased from your device and all the different configurations that you have set for your networks will actually be deleted. But this is the only way to basically try to fix the Wi-Fi problem. Even if Apple has fixed it with iOS 17.1.2, it might still not work until you do this. Again, you will lose all the saved Wi-Fi passwords, but if you're having the issue, that's the only way to do it. Now, the next thing I suggest you do when updating to iOS 17.1.2 or any time you update to any other iOS version is check your battery health. And this is actually really important. Now, the last time I checked my battery health, it was at 100%. Now, when I go here, you can see it's still at 100%, but yours might be different. A lot of times you won't see the battery health dropping here until you update your device. That's because the time when you update your device, iPhone checks all its components and will basically do like a calibration of its components and then show right here the real result. So you might notice that for a long time it will stay at a certain number, let's say at 100% in this case. And if I don't update my device for a month or maybe two, then when I update my device, it will drop two or three points. And that's really important to know because 
If you, let's say, had your battery health at around 81 or 82% before updating, when you update, it might drop under 80% which means that your device is performing not good at all because it needs to have the battery changed. So you might want to have to check that. So go ahead and check the battery health and see if it's still above 80%. Another thing you should check under settings is the carrier updates. Now to check for a carrier update, all you have to do is go to your settings, go to general and then go to the about section right here and if there is an update for your carrier it will pop up right there on the screen just like a normal pop-up that you get on ios that's really important of course if you want to get the best service from your carrier you always need to update your carrier and the carrier updates always show after you have updated your device of course all you have to do again is go to your settings go to and do general and then just go into the about section for a couple of seconds and if you have an update it will show right there and what's really important is of course that you update your apps all the time make sure you always update your apps especially when you have updated your device to a new ios version a lot of times when a new ios version is out also devs will work on an update for their app so in the next day or two you will probably see a lot of updates from the apps that you have installed on your iphone so make sure you go ahead and update all of them now the easy way to do that is of course from from your settings simply head on to the app store settings and just choose here the automatic updates enable it right here so you don't have to worry about app updates they will be updated all the time when a new version is out so these are the things that you need to do once you have updated your device to ios 17.1.2 of course the latest update to ios 17 even though is a small update it's still important that you update your device so what's next when it comes to ios 17 well 17.2 is just around the corner and it's a great update it has a ton of new features like 60 or more new features and changes and some of them are actually very cool and very useful as well so when to expect that update to be released for your device well, most likely in the next week, we will see another beta. The last beta had a build number that ends with a B, which means that we're getting another update probably this week ending with an A and then the RC version and then the final release. Now, there are two different things that can happen right here. Apple releasing another beta the next week and then, of course, releasing the other the RC version actually the week after that, which will be the week of 11th. And then this week right here, most likely 18th or 19th, they release iOS 17.2 to the public. But there might be another scenario where Apple actually releases the next beta maybe on Monday and then the RC version towards the end of the week. And then the, on the 11th or the 12th, they would release iOS 17.2 to the public. So we are like two or maybe even three weeks of Way from getting iOS 17.2 getting released to the public which again is a great update and I suggest you update as soon as you get iOS 17.2 on your device so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to smash that like button of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one